All right, welcome back guys. Today we have a very special video. Today I'm actually gonna transform my trailer from this to this. I'm gonna show you how to grab your low budget trailer like myself, because I didn't have a lot of money when I bought it, to something epic that a lot of people will love. All right, so follow along and I'm gonna show you how to transform your trailer in your own garage. So right now, as you guys can see, I have my trailer right here. Oh, hey, buddy. Is this the Ricky Show? This is the Ricky Show. This is looking pretty Ricky Show. <laughs> yeah, don't, pull, don't pull too <laughs> So I've actually done a lot to it, even though you can't tell when I bought it. Yeah, I know. When I bought it, it had four different sizes of tires and wheels. The spindles were all bad. We bought four wheels, so they're not matching at all. They're not even the same style of wheels either. This trailer has seen better days. Uh, every time I'm using it and I see something come up, as you can see, I put nails in it and I just step on them. That way they don't go through the tire just so they can hold them in place. I have never taken this out. I don't know what's under it, but I know it's not very steady. You can see some PVC piping around here and what it does, it gives you the wiring to the trailer. And I had to do that because my dog kept shooting up all the wiring. So after I did that, he stopped shooting on it. So I think the first thing we should do is just... We got a lot of work to do. Oh yeah, that's for sure. You see how it's semi-flat over there? Flat, 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 and then it kind of goes up. I don't know what happened there about the trailer like this. This was a homemade trailer. This was built by a guy before me because he had a very low full race car, Evo 10, and he couldn't get a trailer low enough, so he built his own. And actually, this thing works perfectly fine. I, I actually have motorcycle ramps that I use for this, and all of the cars go in with no issue. Yeah, doesn't it matter how low it is. Super low. The, the bones, I think, are probably good. We're about to find out. And then uh, we'll make a list of products that we can use to make it better for my MS and uh, get a few more years of use out of it. I almost fell through. That's nice. That just happened. That wasn't there before. Well, let's get this thing torn apart. Yeah, let's do it. So we have moved nothing. All we did was take that off. And here's what we found under it. We found sheets of plywood. At Attach to two by fours and more two by fours and more yeah, plywood. We just gotta get down to business here and figure out what's holding all this together. Cause it ain't this wood, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I've been using this trailer like this for many years. Like a long time. Probably like, how long have I had this trailer for like 10 years? I don't know. I don't know, longer than you know. I've owned this thing for a long time. All right, so now that you guys have seen how uh, solid my trailer is, I'm gonna go get some power tools. There's some stuff that I cannot get out with a drill. It has to be cut off. I'll be able to finish stripping this thing. So this is what's stopping me right now. These things, they're bolted through. There's a nut under it, but the bolt itself is bended at the bottom, so it's impossible to get out. So I'm gonna cut this off, push it through, and then hopefully I'm able to do that with the rest of them that is on the car. I mean on the trailer. to get a pen and paper, write down some stuff, take some measurements, see what we need. We'll make this trailer great again. All right, so the trailer is definitely not straight. So from there to here, 79 inches exactly, 79 inches. The center point, it goes to 78 and a quarter, and the end it goes to 78 and a half. So it goes literally, it goes in like this and it comes back out. But not as much as this. It goes in and then it comes out just a bit. Um, the outside can stay like that. The one thing I do want to do, this, this bar is very, very bent. So I do want to replace, cut it there, cut it here, and then replace this whole beam all the way at the end. So now it's time for us to get on the phone, order some metal from IMS. And clean up your mess. And what mess? That mess. I'm having a bonfire this week. <laughs> hey, you can do it right now. Real quick, Throttle's all new merch line is dropping this Friday, July 23rd at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
All this stuff is good for the super giveaway. As you guys know, we just kicked that off. Every dollar you spend equals one entry. And this is probably my favorite collection that we have ever dropped. We're calling it the JDM Supply Drop. And this right here is one of my favorite things we've done. This is a long sleeve white t-shirt. It's got prints on both sleeves. Really, really awesome stuff, guys. It would mean a ton if you guys hopped on the site this Friday and picked something up. And remember, you're gonna get those entries in. So that's it, now enjoy the rest of the video. So we got the Acewood rotary tool. This thing is amazing. We've used it to grind off paint, uh, take decals off, undercoating, everything. And right now we're gonna test it on rust. So we're gonna take that off. I also have a DeWalt grinder with a wire brush at the end of it, which we're gonna use to try to clean as much as possible before we start cutting. We just got done scraping all the rust, well, the majority of the rust, the surface rust out of the trailer. So it's semi-smooth, I guess you can say, but it's definitely looking a lot better. You can see everything here. So we're gonna push this thing back forward and then we're gonna start, uh, I guess we're gonna start cutting after that. While we're over here breaking grinders and I just remember, Lincoln hooked us up with the plasma cutter. So we have our Lincoln 375 Air Tomahawk plasma cutter. And we've used it plenty of times, especially me, cut brackets and stuff out of it. So in this time, we are gonna use it to cut this thing. I'm gonna test it out and if it works, I'll have Quinn do the rest. This is the hardest thing I've ever cut. Seriously, it's so thick. None of our tools are prepped for this. Our, our plasma cutter couldn't go through it. Maybe I don't know how to use it. So Quinn and I have spent a lot of time uh, on the back of the trailer, just cleaning everything up, trying to make this as straight as possible. Quinn just got done grinding the very end so I can have some surface clean area so I can weld them. Right now I'm cleaning the edge of it, which is pretty much what the weld's gonna be. So as you can see, this is like a very thin coating that they put on it at the uh, metal supply store, just so it won't rust and with this. Taking everything off so it'll weld properly. What's going on? All right, so we got everything ready to go. We placed the beam here. Obviously, it's bigger, and we're leaving it there, so we're gonna ah. cut it after. Shh. And now, Quinn's holding everything in place so I can tack weld it. Holy hell. <laughs> All 
don't know if you guys seen it before, but I have some big white ramps. And the ramp has a big lip. That's pretty much gonna take most of this area. We're gonna lay it flat, and we're gonna have a drop pin that's gonna hold the uh, ramps in place. Which is why I wanted it uh, flat. If I wanted to lay it the other way, um, this whole thing will hang at the bottom of the trailer, which it'll be scraping everywhere. So that's why it's laying long ways, not the other way. Just in case you have had any questions about it. All right, so we have some, oh, they're heavy. One by one metal square beams. They're pretty thick. We are gonna put this at the very top of this. We're gonna put them here eighth of an inch down across like every, I don't know, 16 inches or so, or 20 inches or so, all the way across. So when the diamond plate sits on top, we have some support. And then we may do some braces in between each beam so we can bolt down the diamond plate. So yeah, we're coming along. We have this skeleton, skeleton bones, whatever you want to call it in the center done. We, I added some beam, uh, two inch uh, beams on each side and the back. And we have some J-hook style type of uh, straps coming. And those are gonna be perfect for it. Some extra hooks right here. We're gonna add a middle one here. Instead of using this one. And more than likely, we're gonna add one to each side here. So right now me and Anthony push the trailer outside and we are going to start putting some belt liner over it just to protect it from the rust and the weather and stuff like that so So it is the next day and the trailer is looking, woo, look at this, super sick. Next step, diamond plates going on top, it's gonna look sick. So we have four plates, uh, and they're gonna go from here all the way to the center at seven feet, and then another seven feet, the problem is that I think we only have like six feet here. The last two plates, we're gonna have to make a cut. So finally, the majority of the trailer is completed. We're not 100% yet. We have a few more parts that are gonna be arriving soon and then this thing will be 100%, but for now, check this out. All right, it is the next day and our boys from Keeper send us all these goodies for the trailer. We have the winch, which it can load up to 9,500 pounds. I also have, that I see here, a couple of uh, wireless remotes, which is gonna be a big plus when we're trying to put something on the trailer. Uh, we have an Optima battery that's gonna be powered up the winch, and we have a trailer kit. This uh, harness kit, it's gonna run all the way back to the back of the truck, and it's gonna be able to quick release to the winch. Instead of using the uh, external battery that's gonna be attached to the trailer, we'll be using the truck. 
That way we can save the power of that battery. On top of that, we have axle straps. Uh, we literally just ordered different uh, ways to strap a trailer, a, an ATV, uh, anything that you can possibly put in here. We just got different ways of strapping it down. So if you can see here, we have the over the wheel tie downs. We got four of them, but in some cases you won't be able to do that. So we have the regular from hook to hook tie straps and we have the J hook style, which it'll literally go to here. So we have three different straps, tie downs, and then we have the axle straps plus everything else you see here. So I pretty much have both base plates done, one for the battery tray and the other one for the winch itself. And as you can see, since they're both completely welded, they're super solid. I am not gonna mess with um, finishing mounting this uh, winch yet. I do wanna get the wiring done first, so I have uh, negative and positive running out. I'm gonna make that go in here, I'm gonna put the battery in there, and then I'm gonna put battery terminals and hook that up to that, with a breaker in between, of course. All right, so as you can see here, all I did, I grabbed some self toppers like always, and I drilled four holes, which essentially made me go to this play and make four more holes. And what this is gonna do is just create a template for me to make these holes bigger and put some bolt throughs so we will be able to mount the battery holder into the battery holder bracket, and then we'll have a completely bolt-on system. So let me show you what I have so far. I have the breaker, then I have positive and negative terminals in there, everything is wired up. So whenever we're gonna use it, we literally, we just flick the switch on and then it'll give power to this and we'll be able to use the unit. All right, so I just finished installing the keeper winch. Uh, and if you guys can notice here, it comes with a bracket, which I thought it did, but it's an accessory. So you can buy this bracket separately for this type of application, but in my case, I forgot. I didn't know it didn't come with, I thought it did. But it wasn't a big deal. I just made an L bracket and I put this and I mounted the, uh, the guy in front of it and then that was it. Other than that, it was four bolts, positive and negative to the battery, which you see here. It does come with their own fuse, but I decided to use a breaker. So when I'm not using this, thing, I can just open the breaker and then it cuts the power off and I don't have to worry about the battery going dead. This uh, keeper winch comes with a fully wire with a long extension adapter and then it comes with a wireless system. Now we know this works, but I really want to test the wireless one. So it works just as simple. It only goes one way. Once it's installed, you press both uh, buttons up and down. The light will turn red, and that means it's ready to be used. All right, so we're gonna turn the power on. Light's still red, which means it's working. Take it out. Just like that. Make sure you guys always keep tension on the wire. And it works. Going back over there. Like that, she's store. Baby girl, let the ice break. Give you all what your life is. I know what I say. Give me baby girl, I know that I did. When you want something, come on, you can ask, and I never say no. You know what I say. Upgrade and nice, I can get you some. I met a girl from the UK. She a damn, she a cute. I tell her come if she wanna see me She love the green and she love when it rains She said bring up the money from the ATM Tell your mom from your ATM Me no back you can shopping with your ATM Go lunch with your ATM The way back some clothes from your ATM Wanna glow every time you come in Be the one with the bag when you out with your friends now. Oh no 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 Yeah, every time she want something She call and check in all right, so this is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I mean, we literally transformed this $500 trailer to something really epic. 
Special shout out to and special thank you to IMS, Industrial Metal Supply. Without them, there was no way. I, we literally picked up everything we needed in one store. Also shout out to Keeper. With Keeper, we were able to complete the complete process. We got the winch, we got the hitch, and we got all the straps that we needed to make this trailer the perfect trailer for our needs. And let's not forget Optima with their yellow top Optima battery, we were able to power the winch without any issues. So thank you so much for watching. All right, so let me know in the comments below if you would have done something different to your trailer and why. Uh, anyways, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Need to put that song in the background. Ooh, too sexy for my shirt. For my, for my shirt. I was Good God. <laughs> the light will turn red and that means it's ready to be used. So let's see. Oh. I was about to say. Alright, so we're gonna turn the power on. Mm. What? Like a race car. The window doesn't go all the way down, so like the window will be Jesus Christ. Damn! It works! Oh my god! Did you measure this? <laughs> oh, I, <did. laughs> I mean, yes. Was that be beginner's luck? I mean, of course I made sure to make. Come on. I'm driving away. I don't steal my Fiat. Dang, homie. Sheesh. Got the ballin' ass trailer now. Baby girl, let the ice break. Give you all what your life is. I know what I say. Give me baby girl another night here. When you want something, come on, you can ask and I never say no.